Welcome back, guys. So today, I'd like to do the first episode uh, of Goodbye Windows, Hello Manjaro, and talk a little bit about theming. Now, I'm going to cover a lot of ground, and I'm going to try to do it as quickly as possible, uh, but I'll go over the basics of theming. Now, I'm going to stay with a simplistic approach to theming uh, versus some of the more complicated, because this will be... Um, in an effort to assist uh, new users, users moving from Windows into uh, Linux, specifically Manjaro Linux with the XFCE. Now, the first thing I do when I finish the download is I want to I want to make it look the way I want it to look. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so, what I do is I'll theme the uh, whisker menu first so if I right click go to properties it'll bring up the whisker menu configuration panel now I usually change I go to icon and title I put menu in the title as you can see that's really the only thing that I change on the front on the behavior tab I click on switch categories by hovering which basically you see I don't have to click on anything I just hover and it brings up the list so I go switch categories by hovering I position the categories next to the panel button that is right here the categories here's the panel button the categories next to the panel button rather than on the right default is on the right I like the categories on the left and then I like to display my fav my uh, recently used items by default and I, I, I include the top 10 the, the last 10 uh, used items so if I go to recently used you can see the ones that I've used lately so that's how I theme this the whisker menu the next thing I do is <clears throat> I change the icons now I don't really like the uh, vertex Maya icons that come default the beauty of Linux is that you can change it to at whatever you want. So I go to the settings menu, click on appearance. Now, for icons, I already downloaded a few of the ones that I usually use. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, before I do that, let's take a look at the... If you go to your menu and you go to add remove software, this is what you'll get. Now, if you... If you type in icon you'll get a lot of icon themes now what I installed is the Faba, Fienza and Mocha but there are lots of other icon themes that are available here that you can mix and match you can experiment with for this uh, example I downloaded and I'll show you how I did it was pretty easy all you have to do is double click and select install or you can go to your terminal and it's as easy as sudo pacman dash s and then it's going to be uh, Fienza icon theme and mocha icon theme those are the ones that I install and then put in your password and it's going to give you the list uh, as you can see Mocha and Fienza are listed to be reinstalled because I already have them installed so I'm not going to go ahead and install them again so if I go to my settings and again you can experiment with add remove software different types of icons so if I go to settings once I install those they'll show up in my list and I can select my icons now I prefer Fienza I'm gonna because I have a dark panel at the bottom I'm gonna select Fienza dark that's as simple as that now as you can see I have some icons here and I added those. I added the terminal, the file manager, and the and Google Chrome because I use those quite often. 
So what I'm going to do is show you how to do that. If you go to the menu and you see something that you want to add, so let's say I want to add um, internet and I want to add chromium. Right click, add to panel, but it's going to come down on the right hand side. So you want to right click it again and click on move. Drag it over here and just put it wherever you want. Left click and it'll pop into place. So if you want to keep the default panel, the XFCE panel, you can add the icons that you want here and then they're just one click away. Now if you want your windows to show up in the center of the screen, it's, it's a very easy change. Go to settings, window manager tweaks, go to placement, move the slider all the way to large and make sure it says at the center of the screen. That way, when you open windows, they will open at the center of the screen. That's the way I prefer it. It's really a personal preference. Now, the next item we're going to look at is desktop theming. If you go to appearance, under style, those are your desktop themes. Now, the, the default is Vertex Maya. I installed a few of my other favorites. I installed Numix, Blue Fear, and Arc. What you want to do is go to Yaourt and do a search. For example, if you want blue, uh, if you want Blue Fear, Blue Fear is spelled uh, E U F E A R, and it'll come up with the Blue Fear GTK theme. Now I've already installed it, but in order to install it using this Yaourt search, you would just type the package number, which is 1. You can see 1. And then you hit enter and it will install the package. Once you install the package using Yaourt or using Pac-Man or using the Add Remove software, then it will be installed and configured properly so it'll show up in your appearance menu now if you go to appearance again you, as you can see I have Arc, Arc Dark, Arc Darker, Blue Fear and Numix it's just a matter of selecting the one that you like now they do have an effect on the whisker menu if you go to Numix or Vertex Maya you will see that it's basically half dark half light. If I go to Blue Fear, Blue Fear is a dark menu or dark theme and as you can see the entire whisker menu is dark. If I go to Arc, as you can see it's a much different look. It's a, it's a lighter look. So again it depends on what you like. Now I like the Arc, Blue Fear, Numix and Vertex Maya. It gives you a good a uh, variety of themes both light and dark and then you have all of the others here uh, that you can experiment with so that covers your desktop theme and your icons now I'm going to do a separate video on uh, installing infinality fonts which will really clean up your text I'll do that on a separate video. <clears throat> now let's move on to wallpapers. Now the wallpapers that come with uh, Manjaro are, are, are nice. I usually like a, a little bit of a different look. So if I go to desktop settings you can select any one of these backgrounds. Now they've got some really nice ones and you can just change them to, to, uh, to decide which ones that you want to uh, live with on a daily basis. But again, you don't have to stay with it. You can stay with 
uh, you can change every day you can automatically change the background in your settings you can change the background every 10 minutes you can do a random order you can apply to different workspaces now I only use typically one workspace I happen to like this look of the of the of the uh, graphics centered in the screen uh, and then the border around it. I think it looks a lot neater. Now you can do that with any background that you download. So let's say, for example, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, let, let's, let's do this one here. So I've got a full background. Let's say I want to do a uh, bordered background, but I don't like the ones that came with it. Well, of course, you can download whatever it is you like. So if I go to a website like interface lift and I'll put links to all these in the show notes they have some very nice backgrounds and you can pick the one that you want to install so let's say for example I want to download this and my resolution is 1920 by 1080 so if you do a search on the internet let's do a Google search and let's say I want uh, wallpaper and I want it in 1920 by 1080 HD so now it's gonna bring up a variety of different wallpapers so if I click on images you will see lots of wallpapers come up and they're in 1920 1080 now let's say if I wanted to take a look at this one here which is looks looks pretty nice uh, I want to view the image and then I'm going to save image as I'm gonna save it to pictures and click Save now right click your desktop go to desktop settings over where it says backgrounds that's where the default wallpapers are located and so we're going to change that so we're going to click on other LAN pictures now it's going to bring up all the pictures now I already have some in there that I've resized different Manjaro wallpapers but if I click on the new one uh, that one as you can see is very nice excellent wallpaper but let's say I wanted the bordered look <clears throat> well because this is 1920 by 1080 and my monitor is 1920 by 1080 it's gonna be full screen I can use a program like Conversine which I downloaded Conversine is a batch image converter so if I add an image and I go to pictures and I take the one that I just downloaded world HD and I open that click on that now I can resize it so let's say I wanna do um, since it was 1920 and I want it smaller <clears throat> let's do 17 uh, let's do 1700 and the height right now it's 1080 let's do 825 now if you want to overwrite it you can overwrite it but I'm gonna put it into this folder called resized and then I'm gonna click convert now it converted the picture <clears throat> excuse me I'm gonna close out Conversine if I go to desktop settings and I go to pictures and resized <clears throat> and I click on that as you can see now it is centered in the screen with a border all the way around and it looks a little bit better if you keep icons on your desktop it makes it look very neat 
So it's entirely up to you what you want to do with the look, the look of your system. So now we've covered icons, we've covered themes, and we've covered wallpaper. I'm going to come back with part two of the theming video, and I'm going to cover conkeys. How to set up conkeys on your desktop. So guys, please join me for part two. That's it for this video. Um, again, I'm going to put links to all of the uh, websites that I visited. And there is a, a good XFCE, how to install new themes, which covers uh, icons and uh, a lot a lot of uh, information technical information on theming I've given you the simple way to add new icons add new desktop themes and add new wallpaper I've given you the basics we're gonna move on to um, conkeys in the next video but I would go through this website and take a look so that was it for the first episode of theming guys uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by the channel, and I'll see you soon. Take care.